body oil. I have severely dry skin as I mentioned before. Um, I, <laughs> I have psoriasis so one of the side effects is really dry skin. So during the summer months I sometimes, I used to, I haven't done it lately, you knock on wood, I used to scratch my skin in my sleep because I would be so itchy. It didn't matter how much lotion I lathered, it didn't matter what kind of lotion I put on, nothing seemed to work. Now I've been using this and I also have been using another lotion. Let me get, get up and get it for you guys. I don't necessarily like the smell of this lotion, but it comes in other scents and I think when I do repurchase it, or I might be making my own, I don't, haven't decided yet, um, I will purchase it in a different scent because I know it comes in like lemongrass and citrus and all that jazz. Um, it's a Shea Butter Moisturizing Body Lotion in Lavender, and it comes out white. Don't let the purple packaging fool you. This is it right here, and it's really creamy. It has Shea Butter and other ingredients in it. I'll show it to you guys in a second. Back, I'm... <laughs> I need to stay more focused for the new year because I've started talking about the Vaseline body gel, body oil gel for you guys. And now I'm talking about this lotion. Okay, so the it can be greasy. I like to apply it at nighttime or if I'm wearing leggings, I'll wear this. If I know it's really cold outside and I'm going to wear jeans anyway, I'll put this on. And one tidbit, if you have um, jeans that have very little stretch in them, put this on and it will slide on like butter. I highly recommend that. As I said before, this has a scent that I don't really care for, but um, it's really good because sometimes I'm in a rush. I don't have time to put on this oil, nor do I want to put it on during certain times because if it's in the 50s, I can't wear this. I can't wear, I can't use this during the day. I can only use it at night if it's in the 50s because my, it doesn't, it acts like a barrier between your skin and the cold air. So if it's not cold outside, it kind of doesn't set, it doesn't really dry. But that's another whole other thing on itself. Um, this has green tea extract, raspberry, um, shea butter, vegetable glycerin. I know some people don't like using vegetable glycerin in the summer. I mean, not summer. They like to use it during the summer because it has a humectant in it, but they don't like using it during the winter because humectants are drawn to air, and if the air is already dry and cold, can't bring up most moisture, right? So it has all these different ingredients. I don't know if you my camera is going to zoom in. I don't have no idea. So I don't know if it's focusing or not. So um, I bought this from Whole Foods and I, they also have their own website. I think it's it's www.alfia.com and that's A-L-A-F-F-I-A. -A -F -F Wholefoods.com or order from them. And they sell like shampoos and conditioners and all that jazz. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys about? Oh, I haven't done like a favorites video review kind of thing in a really long time. I bought this the other day from CVS. I actually bought it yesterday from CVS. Um, <laughs> this is a Nuance Selma Hayek um, makeup remover. And one of the main reasons why I love this makeup remover, I like how when I shake it up, it, you know, they both kind of intermingle with each other. It has like oil and water and rose water and agave and all these other great things in it but it really works well on removing my mascara without me tugging and pulling at my eyelashes and even when I've worn waterproof mascara this has been the thing to get it off for me. Now what you want to do is you take a cotton round which I do with this and you just gently you wet it you saturate it and then you gently place it on the eye. Now if I want to take off my makeup I also use this as well and I take my oh this is one of the things I got from Mario's um, workshop with Josie Moran and um, I don't know this is not really good if you have sensitive I can't speak this is not really good if you have sensitive eyes because for me every time I use it around my eyes it starts to burn like hell um, and I can't use um, say yes to carrots they also make their own wipes and they have like salt water and infused in their wipes and I can't use it around my eyes so I'm really picky about what I can use. Although this, I really like it because it's so thin and yet so saturated and it gets the makeup really well. But um, I like the Costco brand, I like the Kirkland brand. And I don't find that, because they were talking about this in the workshop, that you know some of the cheaper brands are really scratchy. That one's not scratchy for me, it's just right. And I think it's just about finding out what works for you. Now those are really great and I think they're about 10 to $12, which is really great if you want to have that in your kit and you want to use it on a client, but it's not, 
I, I know for me, for myself, I can't, this is not something I can use every day on my eyes. It's nothing to do with expenses to do with the paint because my eyes were on fire last thing when I used that. Anyway, but that's just an allergic reaction to it. Um, one of the ingredients in there. Um, yeah, so I really, really have been loving this. Next up, I didn't do a review on this, but I really, I think I did do a brief review on this. I have to go back and start watching some of my videos. Um, some of the videos sometimes, I have so many videos that I have recorded and just never uploaded. I, I can count on hands and toes how many I have of those. Um, this is the Origins Vita Zinc and I have, it's like down here. I have some on today and then I have a little bit of powder on top of that. The reason why I really like this, it's really expensive. I got it during um, Christmas. They had on their sale, on their sale, on their website they had um, $10, I think was it? Because this is normally cost $35. $10 off, so it must be $37. So then, 30, it normally costs $37. But I got it for $27. Because it was $10 off your purchase plus free shipping. Score! And this was on Cyber Monday. So I will be purchasing this again on Cyber Monday. I really like this. Um, if you guys really want to know if this works as a foundation, take a little dab of it. Because what I noticed with it happens with it a little bit whatever you don't use always collects at the top take a little bit of that place it onto either a piece of white paper or a tissue or any kind of like bright colored paper like yellow a yellow piece of paper anything that you can be able to see the, a transition in color um and leave it for a little while and let it set out and it's going to turn a little bit of orange brown and that's what it does it's a very slight color change and if you have normal skin and what I mean by normal skin you don't suffer from acne you don't break out your pH is balanced on your face then I think that this is a great product I think it's a great product even if you do have acne because um, it's not going to give you coverage it's not going to give you full coverage so it's going to give you a minimal amount of coverage but I think it's good because it has SPF in it and it's giving you a little bit of a tint to your face so for me I always need a little bit of tint especially during um, the summer <laughs> summer no winter winter months it's really really great for me even during the fall um but i didn't get this till december and i'm gonna repurchase it again next year well next year no well i will hopefully purchase it again next year but um at the end of this year i will purchase one again i really like this next step that i've really been liking lately is this clicker no more drama it's a spray, it's a toner, it's for people with acne, and I really like it. It has a, like a weird cucumber, but not so much cucumber scented. Like the first note is cucumber, but then it, it's like a, ooh, I don't want to eat that kind of cucumbery kind of scent. You know what I mean? It smells like, like bear with me. It smells a little bit like cucumber, with, infused with water. And it infused with some kind of herbal something. It's a vegan brand. I find that it works really great on my skin. A few days ago, I had a zit coming in right here, and I sprayed this on my on my face, and it went away. When I by the time I woke up the next morning, it was gone. So I really like this. It's a really great spray. Um, and also too, I got it on sale at Sephora.com, and it's currently on sale for fifteen dollars, and the kit is on sale for thirty two dollars. Um, what else did I want to say? The whole line is on sale on their website. So if you're interested in trying out their website, if you're interested in trying out Sephora's website or if you're interested in trying out the Banishing Mist by Clicker, I highly recommend doing so because this would be a great time because normally this bottle by itself is $32. So I think I'm going to pick up another one since it is on sale online. I don't know if they have it on sale in store. If they did, I would be so happy. I might check that out tomorrow to see because I'm going into the city. So I'll check that out. What else did I want to tell you guys? The lashes, if you guys are wondering what I have on, it's the Eyelore Lashes, and I know they're like a, like a London-based brand, but I bought them on drugstore.com. I know they sell them um, on at Ulta.com, but if you're really interested in buying them, buy them on drugstore.com. I got them 20% off plus free shipping, because I made sure that my order was $25, and then the day before, was it before Christmas? No, it wasn't the day before Christmas. It was the weekend before Christmas. They had 20% off if you, sh you know, made your purchase by that Sunday so that you could get it. So guess what? Their shipping is so on point. I ordered Saturday night at like 11 o'clock at night and I got it that Monday. 
I was like, wow, and they're serious about their customer service. And so thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos to come. Have a lovely day. Bye, guys.